Hi everyone, today I'm going to film a beauty haul for you. As I have mentioned in previous videos, I went to Vancouver very recently for 10 days with my mum and um, saw my family over there. And um, you may have noticed in my last video a rather ugly plastic bag. And this plastic bag is full, full of beauty bits that I hauled and I thought I've got to keep it separate in a plastic bag. I hope you've got a drink because you're in it for the long run. Number one is, okay, I've spoken about this deodorant before. I currently use it now and I'm on my last one. It's my favorite deodorant. And I know that sounds ridiculous that you go all the way over the other side of the world and buy deodorant, but I just love the scents that they do. Um, and it is the brand called Secret. And this, this, the range that I love is called Scent Expressions. And I got two um, Great Value Twin Packs. They're two different fragrances, so I have four deodorants in total. And they are an invisible solid formula called Cocoa Butter Kiss. And so I got two of those in the Great Value Twin Pack. And then I also got the Secret Scent Expressions Ooh La La lavender. I'm currently using one that is a cherry scent. My favourite is the apricot or the peach but I couldn't find that. So in Target I believe when we went down to the States for the day and this is from the Big Sexy Hair range. Um, sorry it's from Sexy Hair and it's the Big Sexy Hair range and this is the Volumizing Dry Shampoo. Um, I think Lisa from Lisa Lisa D1 sent this to me uh, a while ago and I also had it in a swap package that I got from a subscriber and I really love it. It's a great shampoo. I also saw in a supermarket, I think it was Superstore, um, the Ardell Self Adhesive Lashes which I had been looking for um, and this is what the packaging looks like. And I've been looking for other, I'd always been looking for the self adhesives just because I think they'd be super easy when my extensions fall out to wear on a more regular basis. I wasn't particularly thrilled with this um, style of lash. It's the 105S. Um, they are, as you can see, very long and quite fluttering. I prefer a shorter, thicker lash. Um, but I did like the fact that they are winged out at the ends, which I like to go for because I have a round eye shape. Um, so lashes that are longer on the outside tend to elongate my eye, which I think is more flattering for my shape. This from Target also, and I've been looking for it in the UK, but I could not find it. Um, I subscribed to Vogue, and one of the Vogue covers recently, Vogue UK, there was uh, Christian Stewart was on the cover, and I loved her eyeshadow. She's got similar colouring to me, although she may be a bit fairer, um, but she's got dark hair and light eyes, and quite a dark brow, and this um, eyeshadow I thought would be so... Um, complementary to my colouring um, and it's from L'Oreal and it's the 24 hour infallible range and this is the eyeshadow in number 892 Amber Rush and um, you can see it better here I have seen um, Ingrid from I can't remember what her name is but I have seen Ingrid you all know who she is she's a beauty guru on YouTube talk about it um, and it is a beautiful formulation and it's sort of like a coppery bronze um, so I cannot wait to try that with some brown liquid liner and maybe those lashes. This I got because I've been dying to try some of the um, lip crayons and uh, I didn't want to invest in one because I didn't know how I would like the formulation because I'm a lip gloss lover so I just got this one from the drugstore and it's in the nude obviously standard um, and it's called uh, what is it called number 50 precious and it is from Revlon and it is the just bitten kissable range and it is a lovely nude chubby stick lip crayon oh I went to the famous Bath and Body Works I wanted to go there and I actually only managed to get to one um, in Vancouver on my last morning when I was there so it's a bit rushed and already my suitcase was overweight and I had to get another carry-on so um, I couldn't go crazy. The um, holiday traditions range at Bath and Body Works and it's called Pink Sugar Plum and um, I went up there and I bought the, uh, I was just going to buy the fragrance mist um, just as a little light body spray but then the girl, this was 
5.50 and the girl said you can get three for six dollars. What a bargain is that? So I then I've just got the little mini range which I think would be great for going away with. Um, so I got the pink sugar plum shower gel. I got the fragrance mist and I got the body lotion and it's just a sweet uh, lotion um, sort of fragrance sorry and it's got shea butter, jojoba oil and vitamin E and it's just a sweet pink girly bubblegum candy type fragrance which you know I like because I love my Prada candy so um, if you live near one definitely go and check it out. I've got the following um, a Chloe rollable. This is my favourite Chloe fragrance of all time and it comes in a rollable formula. So here is the original one. Here. And then I got it in the rollable. So this is amazing for just to top up your fragrance during the day or maybe if you're going straight out from um, work, you're going out in the evening, you can just use the rollable. So it looks like this. Just unscrew. And then you can roll on your pulse points just to freshen up before you go out for the evening. So that smells gorgeous. Also in Sephora I've got a new uh, lip balm, lip treatment, sorry, from the brand called Fresh. <clears throat> and this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment and this is in Honey. Um, I had the original before, a subscriber sent it to me again and it was absolutely lovely. Um, and this time I got the Honey range for winter. Um, and it's just a lightly tinted lip treatment uh, and it's great to keep in your handbag just to keep your lips hydrated in this cold winter season because with the heating and things like that, fires on, you can get um, quite dry lips and I find that treatment works really nice. Also from the Sephora little trial size range I got this Urban Decay D-Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray and I use this uh, every day when I was in Vancouver because I did forget my Fix Plus. Um, and I'm going to have to get the big one because it seriously works. I don't know how. Um, I think it's made by the brand Skindinavia. Um, and you just shake it well, you apply it, you can use it before. <coughs> excuse me, you can use it before and after applying your makeup. I only use it before, um, but I think when I have the large size, I may try it before and after and see how well that works. But it's absolutely amazing. I've got a new hand cream. I always keep a hand cream in my handbag and at my desk. Um, and I just used up all of my Clarins um, hand and nail treatment, which I love. Um, but I wanted, really wanted to try this one. It's from the brand Loctane. Um, and this is just the dry skin hand cream. And this is the original. And it's 20% sheer butter, pure sheer butter and it's really lovely. My mum actually got a free sample of one in a magazine this month and it's the Coco one. It's sort of, instead of being blue here, it's brown and we use that on the plane a few times and it's absolutely lovely. So definitely get your hands on one of these and try a scent. Um, and this is from Sephora and it's the Sephora Favourites Give Me Some Lip and it's a lip sampler and it has all of these goodies inside which I'll read for you. It has the Bite Lip Shine in Vintage, the Fresh Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment, so I'm really excited to try that, the Hourglass Extreme Sheen High Shine Lip Gloss in Child, the Laura Mercier Lip Glace in Baby Doll, which I wore today, which is absolutely amazing, I tweeted about it, the Sephora Collection Glossy Gloss in Precious Pink, and the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint in Hope. So this would be an, a great present to give to somebody because it comes in a nice box, you untie it, and I think they also do um, sort of lash favourites and skin favourites. So that's super cool, I can't wait to try all those things. A uh, new OPI Mini Skyfall range, which is the new Bond film, and I actually wore two of these shades. Because um, Live and Let Die was a bit disappointing. It was sort of the one that I thought, oh my god, that looks amazing. It sort of looks like my private jet. Um, but I did one coat and it was so sheer. Um, and I thought, I'm going to need to do five to get it as opaque as I would like. So then I did, um, I took it off and I did one coat of The World Is Not Enough, which is this one, and one coat of uh, Live and Let Die. 
So I've really enjoyed those and I can't wait to try that red at Christmas. The Spy Who Loved Me, it's gorgeous shimmery red. So I love that. Yeah. Two more uh, nail varnishes to add to my collection. It's a China Glaze Polish in Exotic Encounters, which is like a, a deep jade green, which looks gorgeous. This is the Avon Mini Nail Wear Pro. And this is in the colour Fuchsia. Would you look at that, it's so cute. <laughs> so diddy, I need to paint my nails actually. A skinny liquid eyeliner. And this is in black. And this is cool because it's one of those um, felt tip liners, which I love. Because they make it so easy. And the gosh eyebrow one is a felt tip. And it's just so easy to fill in your brows, do your eyeliner. It's like using a crayon. I've got these hair bands. Because I've seen Lorraine from The Current Custom, The Current Family, Hubby Wife TV, and Lisa from Lisa Lisa D1. They're just um, a nice hair tie. I always have a hair tie around my wrist, and it's the ugliest black hair tie from Scrunchy. And so I thought these look really cute. They're from Sephora, and it's a set of eight ribbon hair ties in just natural colours, like a pearly sort of champagne colour, bronze, a brown and then a black and they have a bit of shimmer in and I just think they will look less ugly than having this elastic round your wrist. Um, so I picked those up. And finally, when me and Emily went to the Mac Pro store, we got this exciting new discovery which is a large Pro palette. And Mac have now changed the Pro palettes. You can get them with a clear front, so you can see what you have inside, like so. They are magnetic, and you can get them without inserts. I know, it's super exciting. So you can depot various sized items. You could depot your concealer. You could depot your cream colour base. You could depot your eyeshadows, you can depot your powders, your blushes, and you can put them all together in a large pro palette, which makes it amazing. It's, it's strange how nobody has thought about this before, it's just common sense. Um, and it's like a Z palette, but amazing, and it's MAC, so it's obviously it's going to be better. Um, so that's the end of my beauty haul, guys. I will be filming a fashion haul, I didn't get as much fashion. Um, or accessories so it won't be as long. I'm sorry if this has been super duper long I'll try and edit it and make it as concise as possible. If you'd like any reviews on any of the stuff I've shown you please just put it in the comments below and um, I will make sure that I do a comprehensive list of everything that I've mentioned um, and a little mini description on my blog so that you don't have to trail through my comments or rewind or any of that. So you can find that on my blog which will be elizabethcamillefisher.blogspot.co.uk I'll put the links below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you very soon. Bye!